Hello, hello everyone. Welcome again to my channel. Welcome to my new subscribers. I want to say thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you for finding value in something that I have to say on this channel. I welcome you, beloved. To my new viewers, I welcome you all. And I hope that what we talk about today, ah, what's a fire under you? Because I know some of you are going through it. I know some of you are going through it. First of all, let me introduce myself because I don't believe I have. Oh, where are my manners? My name is Grace. I am a certified life coach and mentor and minister. So beloved, feeling low on uh, fuel. Are you feeling low on fuel? Because uh, I know I've been feeling the battle in the spiritual realm. I know. I know. I know it. I know how it goes. Listen, so many of God's people are going through it. It's not just you. No, it's not just you. You're not going crazy. No. This is a serious thing. But as your life coach, and as your mentor, I am here to encourage you to keep going. That's it. Those are my two words right there. Keep going. Because that's what I was, last night when I was in prayer and I was talking to God, right? And, you know, we, we do a lot of chat, chat, chat with God. But then sometimes we got to zip it and let, listen, from, from, listen from what he's telling us. And all I kept hearing was keep going. Just keep going. Keep going. But Lord, keep going. But Lord, this keep going. Keep going. Just keep, keep going. Keep going. <laughs> Just keep going. Sometimes he keeps it. I watched this movie called Found. I think it's called Found. It's about a boy who was raised in the mountains in the cabin. And it's a it's a it's a Christian independent film. And you can find it on Amazon Prime for anyone who's interested. But it blessed me. I learned a lot from that movie. It's about a boy who grew up on uh, he was raised by uh, these um, older people in the mountains. He was like he was Huckleberry Finn. Sometimes he would talk to God and you know, in his mind he would just be quiet and talk to God and ask God a question. And God would often give simple answers, simple answers. And last night I got it. <laughs> I got it. He just says, keep going. So I want to tell you, keep going. Stop worrying about who was not on board with you, but wake up, roll out of bed, keep going. Write again, create again, produce again. Create your videos again. Get on the podcast microphone again. Give, 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 give again. Give. I like how my my, my girl co coach Candace B, she says it. Give like you ain't got no sense. Give, give, give. Who cares what they think about you? Who cares what the family is saying about you because you've been posting nonstop on your Instagram, you've been posting your Instagram quotes, you've been posting your videos, you've been posting nonstop, you've been creating, you've been producing, you've just been giving and giving and giving and giving, and you haven't seen <laughs> anything burst through the ground yet. Who cares? It is growing. I can assure you, beloved, it is growing. But you can't be digging up the soil and see, oh, is it there yet? Is it there yet? Because I know some people like to do that. Lord, is it there yet? Why isn't it growing, Lord? <laughs> oh my goodness keep going keep going and stop digging up the dirt just keep going and when you pick up that plow I want you to I want you to stop looking back stop looking back a lot of you are looking back a lot of you lost your jobs a lot of you left your jobs to pursue this business this writing career stop looking back stop it really because once you look back you're gonna be like the Israelites Oh, they were slaves, but they were thinking about the good meat they had in Egypt. Yeah, those were the good old days. We had the meats. Meanwhile, we got the manna here. Really? <laughs> it wasn't that great. The grass wasn't greener behind you. I actually found myself doing that when I first started my journey. It was like, oh, yeah, I remember those good old, the good old days. <laughs> These are the good old days, beloved. You have no idea what God is doing. There's a shift. Have you felt it? There's a shift. Can you feel it in your spirit? Praise God and hallelujah. You guys keep going. Keep going. And stop trying to get people on board with you. If they're not elevating and you're, if they're not working on their mindset, stop expecting them to understand what you're doing. Stop expecting them to cheer you on. Stop expecting greatness from people. 
who don't even know that they're great. Stop expecting validation from them. If you keep expecting validation from people, you're going to keep chasing your tail. Let me tell you, stop expecting, stop relying on their opinions. You know, a lot of these people are jealous of you. Mm, I said it. Yeah. I said it. They're jealous of you. But then again, you are inspiring others. The fact that you are a hustler, right? Like they, <laughs> you get up in the morning, you put on your video, you, you put on your phone, you get ready, you go to work, hands to the plow, you get out there, you put yourself out there on Instagram, on Facebook, on YouTube, on Twitter. You get out there on the podcast, on your podcast, on Anchor, wherever you are distributing your gift, wherever you are deploying your gift, wherever you are giving it away, give it away, give it away, give it away. And stop expecting people to jump on board with you. You have to know that you're great. You have to know that you're great. Work on your mindset every single day. Speak out your affirmations. And you can always join my mailing list. I will give you a free PDF copy of excellent affirmations. Short, beautiful ones that work. I mean, you can say these in the shower. I know I do. But you have to speak it. Speak it and believe it. Call those things that are not as if they were. Ooh, hallelujah. Have you been getting stuck? Because you are expecting, because you look at, you look at the numbers, you look at, stop looking at the numbers. I want you to start doing things for Christ. Start doing them for the King. Stop doing it for, for the likes and the views and the subscribers. That stuff is, is a byproduct. It's added unto searching and seeking the righteousness of God and seeking for the kingdom of God. Stop worrying about the opinions of others. Stop worrying about what they're thinking of you. They're always going to have something to say. Give them something to say. Give them something to talk about. Give them something to give them something to be like. So, have you seen what so and so's doing? Yeah, no, she's crazy, isn't she? Who cares? Who cares? Who really does care? I mean, come on. But if you care, then <laughs> that's my set work you got to do, baby. If you are caring way too much about people's opinions, about people's validating you, people validating your writing, people validating your, your business, people validating your, your ideas, oh my goodness, you're never going to get out of it. You're just going to shoot some ladders yourself, shoot some ladders yourself. You know what I mean? You're going to be climbing up. Oh, I wonder what he has to say. No, oh, yeah. no, no, mm -mm. forget him. Forget him. And my coach says, forget them folks. Forget them folks. Forget them folks. Yeah, forget them. They're never going to jump on board because it's you. And I know. That's tough. It's you. It's you. How could you? <laughs> you? We grew up with you. <laughs> you? You can write. You can sing. You can create. You can produce. You can paint. You guys because they grew up with you, because they work with you, because they're around you all the time, because they think they know you. Oh yeah, I know you. No, oh, please, you. That's why they don't support you. So stop expecting them to support you. Keep going. You're solo and dolo on this. Yeah, that's it. You gotta leave the tribe, you gotta leave the culture. Remember what I said? Leave the culture, leave the tribe. Stop allowing all these things to pull you down back into the crab bucket. You're no longer in the crab bucket. You're out of that crab bucket. You're out. But if you keep allowing people's low poverty mindsets to, to pull you back down, and if you keep expecting those kind of mindsets to validate you, <laughs> you're cheating yourself out of your own blessing. You're blocking your own blessing. Let me tell you, as your life coach, keep going. We have a saying in Spanish, échale ganas, échale ganas, échale ganas, échale ganas. <laughs> I love it. I love it because, you know, let's say it in Spanish like that. Échale ganas. Mm, mm. Échale ganas. That's the two words you, you learned today. Échale ganas or échale gas. Either one. 
whichever one you like. Echale gas is fierce. It's very fierce. Echale. Echale. Okay? Keep going. Keep elevating. Keep pursuing. Keep being diligent. Keep plowing. Keep digging. Keep writing. Keep producing. Keep singing. Keep making your YouTube videos. I don't care who's not watching. I don't care who's not subscribing. Tell yourself that. I don't care. I do this for the kingdom of Jesus Christ. I do this for the kingdom of God. I do this for the Lord. All things do it unto Christ. That's it, loves. That's all you got to do. You ain't got to do more than that every single day. And please don't bring yourselves out. That's something the Lord revealed to me. I was like, Lord, way back in the day, I was like, Lord. And it was like, don't do more than I've asked you to because this is what the enemy wants. He wants to burn you out. If you're like, oh, I haven't posted this. And now you did. Yes, target all the platforms. Absolutely. Whatever it is that you're working on, whatever it is that you, your gift is you're putting out there, target all the platforms. But also remember to keep it slow and steady. Stir it slow and steady. Don't burn it. Don't overcook it. I like how my coach says, uh, slow cook it. Slow cook the thing. Slow cook it. You got to. You got to slow cook it. Because this, is, this isn't just, listen, a lot of people, they get into business and stuff, they're like, I want my clients now. I want to get this now. Listen, this is about you growing into the person, that person, into that classic, exclusive, one of a kind, one in a million, one percent. That's what you are transitioning into. That's what you are elevating into. But if you try and um, microwave this thing and you look at that thing and you go, well, nobody's, no, no, nobody's eating this. Nobody's tasting this. Nobody's even watching it. Nobody's listening to it. You're never going to get out of Dodge. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're never going to get out of Dodge. You've got to keep going no matter what it looks like. And stop expecting people. Just stop expecting. Stop expecting. Work on you. Work on your mindset. Expect from you. Get up in the morning and go, Lord, what can I do to please you today? What can I do to serve my gift today? What can I do to bring meaning to someone else's life? And ask him to order your steps. I always do that. Ask the Lord to order your steps and to enlarge the steps beneath you, just like David said. He'll, give, he'll, he'll, give, he'll subdue your enemies under you. I'm telling you, he will. And every single day you get up and you don't feel like you don't feel like getting 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 um getting out there on camera. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, this is where discipline comes in. This is where true discipline comes in. You're feeling like, oh, I just don't want to do it today. I, I, Lord, I am not feeling it today. It's like, well, it's really not about you, Bubba. It's really not about you. It's not about you. It's about the kingdom, and it's about people. But the same people who need to find you, they may not even know where you are yet. Your tribe, your clan, your dynasty, your group. They may not even know how to find you yet. Why are you giving up so quickly? Why are you giving up so soon? Keep writing your books. Keep, 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 keep singing your songs. Keep posting your videos. Keep creating your quotes. Keep giving and keep creating. And give, give like you ain't got no sense. But all you know is how to give because if you're on my channel you're a giver i guarantee you that you're a giver i know that i know that my people they're givers and they give good things they give quality this is why we got ourselves hurt but now we're giving to those who truly need to receive beloved and that in mind i pray you receive this with open eyes open ears open hearts, open spirits, let it fall on open ground, absorb this, watch it as many times as you need to, give, 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 and keep going, keep going, all right, I love you all, I am Grace, your life coach and your mentor, got those 45-minute consultation calls, if ever you want to talk, I am ready to talk, 
I am ready to discuss. Let's talk about giving. I'm, 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 I'm all about the giving. I'm all about giving your gift. Gift. But how do you find your gift? A lot of you may not even know what your gift is, beloved. And that's where your life coach comes in. So don't forget, I offer free conference calls every Wednesday, 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Facebook Lives, Thursdays, 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. You know the gist? It's all in the description. If you like this video, click like. Subscribe to this channel for more messages like this. I'm going to keep talking about this because whew, the people of the Lord are going through it. Because I know what the enemy's up to. Mm -hmm. I know what that enemy's up to. He's like, mm, no, why do you keep trying this? Why do you, you, should, you should just go back. Go back. Remember Egypt? Remember all the good, good, the, the good meat you had once? And it was no, it was no good meat there. I mean, I was, I was grateful while I was there. <laughs> Looking back, there was no good meat. Oh no, beloved, we're yeah, we're on the straight and narrow now, and we're seeking kingdom. But uh, the enemy wants to distract you. There's a lot of distraction going on. I'm here to tell you to focus, 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 motivation, discipline. I want you to speak this affirmation. Focus, motivation, and discipline are easy for me. I am highly productive and I'm highly motivated. I am. Until we speak again, meditate on these words, share this video, like the video, drop me a pearl, drop me a ruby in the comment section, and uh, keep glowing, keep elevating, and echenle ganas. <laughs> I love you all. Take care.